Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day of Seamus. Today's video I'm really excited about. It's really, really cool, something fun and different. I was up late scrolling through Tumblr, as you do, and I stumbled upon something really, really interesting, something I've never seen before, and I'm sure some of you have seen and I'm sure a lot of you beauty lovers have seen these before. And I just thought it would be really cool to talk about it and kind of see. So I found beauty on a budget, like comic book, like comic style beauty tips from the 60s and 70s. And I guess these were actually inserts in the newspaper in a romance comic section, which... <laughs> What is that? I don't, I didn't really ever look at the newspaper and now I'm mad because I would have loved to seen this comic romance section. Like, was it like spicy books? Like, what are we talking about here? What was this romance? Before I get too far, let's take a look at one here. And I compiled the few that I could find and we're going to go through each one and just take in the notes and things like that and just see what the columns say. And I thought it would be fun to just take a little walk down 60s and 70s beauty tips for on a budget. I mean, gosh, we've been budgeting for ages. It's ridiculous. Anyway, look how beautiful this is. So let me tell you a little history here. So obviously this was a beauty on the budget type of comic article. They were all illustrated by Elizabeth Baru. She was one of only a few women to work in the romance comics of the 1960s and the 1970s. You know, hats off to Elizabeth Barube. That is really cool to be one of the only women, you know, comic creators. And these were like helpful, beauty on the budget. Having said all that, you'll notice something here. There are no women of color in these beauty on a budget comics. And that's a real shame. I looked, I, I tried to find if there were any other issues before I said this, and, and there could still be more out there, I don't know, but the ones that I have, there were no women of color drawn on there. I didn't want you to think I didn't notice, I noticed. But while I was looking, I actually stumbled upon something really, really cool, because I was wondering if there were any beauty tips ever, like in, in a comp, in a newspaper type of thing for women of color, and I didn't find that. But what I did find is the Black Beauty Archives, blackbeautyarchives.org. It is so cool. They have, I would imagine, almost, I mean, they're literally archives of almost every old, old, like 60s, 70s um, beauty advertisements for people of color of different hair products and makeup. I mean, it's just really, really neat. The ads are so beautiful and inspiring to look at and to see all the different brands and things like that. And they actually have a place where if by chance you happen to have an old photo, an old ad, you can submit it to the archives. So you'd be doing a service there. Please take a look through. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, I'll link it down below. It is blackbeautyarchives.org. Let's get into these beauty on a budget articles, comic books. We'll start with this first one. Again, you can just see it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love these drawings. This little beauty on the budget tip was all about oils. It says when Cleopatra was a girl, women knew that oil was the secret of beauty. Here's how to use oils the way Cleo did for beauty and that youthful look without spending a fortune. So this was about making your own oils, basically. Right here on the left, there's a little clip that says fragrant oils will make you look and smell beautiful. Make your own, choose your own, choose your scent. Rose, orange, blossom, honeysuckle. So I guess you're supposed to pick your flower. And then they say, put the petals of the flower in a pottery jar, not glass. I thought that was interesting. Pour a little olive oil over them. Store in a dark place for about two weeks, then pour off the sweet smelling oil to bathe in fragrance and loveliness. And they also suggest using it for your hair. Great for conditioning. Give your tired pocketbook a hand with apricot kernel oil, which I've never in my life heard of apricot kernel oil. I have to look this up. Oh, it's cold pressed. Okay. Huh. Have you guys ever used apricot kernel oil? I've literally, out of all the oils I've heard of, I've never heard about this. Interesting though. They also suggest down at the bottom here to use apricot oil for wrinkle lines, chapped lips, hands, rough elbows, and feet. Bonus, a drop rubbed on your lips under your lipstick will prevent caking. This next one I thought is just the cutest little thing. Look how cute this is. I love that girl holding up the paper. 
I think that looks really, really cute. So the tips in this little section are, if you think your teeth can be a little whiter, use baking soda. It can't hurt your teeth, so use it as often as you like. Just like tooth powders, then dazzle the world with your smile. Spend a fortune on astringent nonsense. I find it funny, as we read through these, you will see how many times they use the word astringent, which I'm assuming is a toner what we would call a toner. An ice cube is nature's best and you have a never ending supply. It's hypoallergenic too. I'm like, are you just talking about water? <laughs> okay, the end paper girl here, this is cute. Oily skin, specially treated papers to carry in your purse are nice for blotting extra oil from the face. Save money and buy a box of end papers for curling your hair. They serve the same purpose at half the price. That's a great tip. I did not know this. I don't use blotting papers, but I remember using those curling papers in cosmetology school and we were doing perms or something like that. I remember using those papers. So I would love to know if any of you guys have ever used those end curling papers to blot your face. And if they are cheaper, that's amazing. That's a tip that we should all know. And then there's a nice little section here about sea salt. Sea salt can be found in health food stores. Get the coarse kind, then toss a handful in your bathtub and relax. <laughs> this last one though, this blew me, this blew my mind. And I could never imagine doing this. I might have to try it because it sounds so absurd. Now, not absurd, they weren't, probably weren't working with a lot and this was beauty on a budget, right? So it makes sense. I'm not judging, it's just interesting. This says, hair setting gel that really gels. A pinch of jello, lemon is nice, in a glass of warm water. Put it in a spritz bottle and spray your hair. Set and dry, your set will hold longer, look wonderful and smell great. Can you imagine putting powdered jello in a water bottle and spraying your hair with it. Should we try it? Sounds really hard to wash out. I can't imagine having jello in my hair, but I don't know, is it any worse than the chemicals I put in my hair? Probably not. This next one seems to be all skin. It's a skin situation, okay? Beauty on a budget. Don't cry, little girl. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck you, don't judge me. I'll cry if I want to. Don't cry, little girl. Your skin's not the problem you think it is. And you don't have to spend oodles of money on special cosmetic treatments. Scarlett O'Hara had a perfect peaches and cream complexion, naturally. She was fiction. Real honest to goodness girls, even Southern Bells. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rarely have perfect skin. Sensible eating and clean, clean pores are the key to facial beauty. I think most dermatologists would disagree with that these days. You know, it can be hormonal, things like that. Um, but I digress. Again, not judging. The peaches and cream comment was a little weird. Okay, so number one, you've eaten one candy bar too many and your pimples are having a coming out party. Squeezing can be dangerous. Here is a method that may take a little longer, but it costs next to nothing and the results are worthwhile. Steaming, okay, they're into the facial steamers. Bring to a boil a large pot of water covered, add a generous sprinkle of chamomile tea, available in any health food store. <laughs> it's funny, health food store. <laughs> I just, I think we all just call them grocery stores now, don't we? Or do you say the health food store? I would think of like Whole Foods. <laughs> Some people prefer bay leaves and cloves or just plain boric acid. Having tried all three, I prefer the tea. It has a very pleasant scent and the equivalent drawing power of the other two. It is, by the way, recommended by a leading cosmetician. All right, number two, take a towel and shape it like a tent, inserting your face to give it a steam bath. Feel the perspiration pour out of your pores. Gross. <laughs> Immediately rinse your face with cool water. Some sea salt, also found in health food stores, dissolve in the rinse, makes an inexpensive natural astringent. Sea salt? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. It seems a little harsh for the face, but... All right, number three, do this nightly for a week or two. Your skin should clear up and you won't have those ugly scars from squeezing. P.S. Never rub your face dry. Always pat lightly, rubbing can spread infection. Probably good advice. And the last step, for the girl with very oily skin that's so hard to keep clean, invest in an electric complexion brush. What do they mean, like the Clarisonic? Did they have those back then? Wow. 
good for the pores and the skin tone as well. And always remember you may hate those pimples worse than anything and wish your skin would dry up like a prune, but be glad you've got oily skin. When you're 50 and some of your friends look like shrivel, I'm sorry, what? When you're 50 and some of your friends look like shriveled old crones, your skin will still look young and fresh. <laughs> like, don't worry about the oily skin, girl. Your friends are going to be so ugly. <laughs> they are going to be so wrinkled. That is something else. I don't think we would ever see that in a beauty article these days. I mean, they'd say be grateful for your oily skin. You know, you're going you're gonna to age slowly. I don't think they'd ever say <laughs> you're going to be hotter than your friends. Like, don't even worry about it. How cute is this next one? That's a cute picture, right? So this one's all about, again, more fruits, I guess. Oh, it's blend your way to beauty, okay? We're gonna be blending. Your budget remains intact with these recipes from the refrigerator. A blender or egg beater can help you keep your beauty natural the natural way. Strawberries, a delightful way to clean your face, reduce fresh strawberries to jelly, and apply gently to the face. Okay, so just smashing up some strawberries, making a bit of a, like a scrub, a strawberry scrub, I guess. When your makeup is removed, the glow of the strawberry remains on your cheek. Yeah, I mean, I guess technically you, but gosh, you'd be red all over, wouldn't you? It's so funny. I feel like they so highly wanted like a rosy glow back in the day. Not that we don't still, because we wear blush and things like that, but people really try to neutralize their complexions now or try to cover rosacea. And these women were, you know, throwing on strawberries, trying to get that rosy cheek. Lemon juice. Bleach out those skin spots or stains with a lemon juice. Strong enough to be effective, but you will never hurt your skin. I remember doing this in like grade school. I would put lemon juice in my hair or sun in. Do you remember the sun in spray? God, it looked awful. Lastly, cucumber juice. Make refreshing astringement. Store in your refrigerator. Use icy cold after you wash your face. That's something I actually see people doing on TikTok all the time. They like freeze a cucumber and run it all over their face. So some of these still hold up for sure. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. Be sure to stay tuned tomorrow for another Seamus video. Let me know what you guys would like to see this month. As always, you can subscribe make sure you do that please I would so love it turn on your notifications and if you want to hang out with me every Friday night as well as my little group of girlfriends you can join my membership we go live every or I go live every Friday night here on YouTube but it's for members only you also get access to our private discord where we're just chatting hanging out having fun we talk about gaming books we have a book group. It's on pause until Seamus is over. And then we'll be starting up the, the book group again. And we do a little Zoom meeting where we all call in and talk about the book. So it's really, really fun. I'd love for you guys to join. It's a great time. It's a great group of people. You will love it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.